I'm going to show you three different ways to do a binomial expansion. A binomial expansion is when you have two terms and that quantity, the sum of that quantity, is raised to some exponent. So they look like this. We're going to use P and Q as their terms. So the first term is always just the first term raised to whatever the exponent is. All right, the second term is the same term, but the exponent is, is 1 minus the first one. We're going to put them in ascending order. The exponents are going to go into ascending order. All right, so we got a p to the 6th, p to the 5th, all the way down to the p to the 0. So to put the q's in there, we're going to start at this end, at the back side, the last term, is going to be q to the 6th. We're going to repeat the process, but we're going to go backwards with the ascending order. So the next one's q to the 5th. And then the rest of them are q to the fourth, q to the third, da, 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 da. So next point, q to the zero, p to the zero. Anything raised to the zero is not zero, it's one. Okay, One as a factor doesn't make any sense, so we're just going to take it out for now. So these are the terms with their exponents. Remember, the sum of the exponents always has to equal whatever the binomial is originally raised to. So in our problem... The sum of the p and q exponents always has to equal 6, and they all do. So we have to find the coefficients. That's the hardest part of this thing. So what we do is, there's three different methods. The first one I'm going to show you is the recursion method. In other words, we will build a coefficient of each term by using the information about the coefficient, or the term before the term. I hope I didn't screw that up, but let me show you. So... The first coefficient is always 1 of the first term, and of the last coefficient, it's always 1. I'm going to put these coefficients in here because there's, a, there's an algorithm that involves it. And most of us forget that 1 is a factor of all numbers. But let me show you what to do next. So we're going to build this term next. I'm sorry, this coefficient for the second term. How we do that is by following this crazy algorithm. Okay, I put the q to the 0 in there because it's part of the crazy algorithm. So here we go. We're going to build the coefficient of the second term. First thing you do is you take whatever, whatever the factor is of the first term, which is 1. That's why I put it back in there. You're going to multiply it by the exponent of the p from the previous term. You're going to divide that, that factor by... One more than whatever the Q exponent is of the previous term. Okay, I'll say it again. So you bring out the factor of the term prior. That's a, that's a factor into the new term. You multiply it by the exponent of the P. That's your numerator. Your denominator is one more than whatever the previous Q exponent was. Okay, so you do all that stuff and you got 6 divided by 1 and it looks like 6. Let's do the next one. These become easier with time, okay? So I left the important stuff up there. So this coefficient is going to have this as a factor, right? We always pull the previous factors, multiply it by whatever the p exponent is from the previous, divide it by whatever the q exponent is, plus 1. So we got 30 divided by 2 is 15. So now let's move to the next one. So it's going to be 15, that's a factor, times 4, that's a factor divided by 2 plus 1. I'll say it again. 15 times 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So that's 60 divided by 3 is 20. So let's do this one. So it's going to be 20, right, times 3. You're always working from the term in front of the one you're doing. It's the, it's the previous term before the one you're building. So it's going to be 20 times 3 divided by 3 plus 1. So that's 60 plus 4 is 15. And this one, right, this term, we're going to use this information. So this coefficient, we're going to build it from the term before. So one of the factors on top is going to be 15 times 2. 
That's what's going to be on top, right? 15 times 2. It's going to be divided by 1 more than the Q. So 4 plus 1. So we got 30 divided by 5. Looks like 6. And then the last one is just a 1. So those are your coefficients. And then we throw in all our plus signs and we're done. So if you multiplied P plus 6 times itself 6 times, you would get this 7-term crazy polynomial. All right, that was way 1. Let's do way 2. It's called combinatoric or combination. I'm going to put the I put the uh, coefficients of one in there just to make sure we don't forget about it. But this is the method where you do n choose r using a combination from the mathematics, and it's also written like this: n choose r. And important, this is the formula. Once you figure out what's choosing what you're going to break it down into this formula. The exclamation point means factorial. So, and that means you multiply, a lot of multiplication. So like four factorial is the same as four times three times two times one. You go all the way down to one, but let's do a couple. So I'm going to pick the second term. Important. Your second term, your n is always to the power of the original binomial. Say that again. Your n is always the original power. So it's always going to be 6 choose something. So what we're going to choose is the pollen or the exponent of the p. You could choose the q. Believe it or not, you're going to get the exact same answer, but I'm just going to stick to the p. So we're going to do 6 choose 5. And it looks like this, right? 6 factorial over 5 factorial, 6 minus 5 factorial. And I need some working room. But 6 factorial is 6 times this. 5 factorial, 6 minus 5 is 1 factorial. 1 factorial is just 1. And we don't need to write that as a multiplier. So we got 6 factorial over 5 factorial. And 5 factorial is that. And look what cancels. Everything on the bottom cancels. Everything except for the 6 on the top cancels. And that equals 6. And so that means that is the coefficient. I'm going to pick one more at random doing it this way. I'm going to pick this term right here. <clears throat> so it's going to be 6 choose 2, right? Because the P is 2. Again, you could have picked the 4. You're going to give it, you, you would get the exact same number. And we're just going to break out the algorithm. right? 6 choose 2, 6 factorial over this. 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial. We're going to go ahead and write it out. And 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 cancels out on both top and bottom, which leaves us with, looks like 30 over 2, which is 15. So that coefficient would be 15. And you would, do the, you would get the exact same answers as we got before. Okay, But that's the, that's the combinatoric method. The last way, my favorite way, which I think is the easiest way, is you can use Pascal's triangle to find out what the coefficients are of a binomial expansion and there's pineapple there's pascal's tr triangle looks like a pineapple so this is this is when the exponent is zero this is when the exponent is one exponent is two exponent is three exponent is four so how you can build your own pascal's triangle so they always start with a one end with a one every row so every term in the row is if you can add any two numbers and put them in the middle there right so this one right here, 1 plus 1 is 2. This term is 1 plus 2 is 3. I'm going to just pick one at random. This term, 56, is 35 plus 21. You can literally build your own. So we're going to go down to the, which row? The sixth row. Sixth row. And that's that row. And those numbers, believe it or not, are your coefficients. So our coefficients are 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Again, there's, it usually hits a peak point, and it's symmetrical. So you're going to be repeating a lot of stuff going backwards. But 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1, according to the triangle. We just plug them right into our equation, and we are done. That's all there is to it. Hope you like this. Hope you learned. MGZ, out.